Hello beautiful people of the internet. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make a dollhouse. So I already cut out this base piece. It has two side panels and the base in the middle and then it has a little part for the roof. So using my box rooms, I'm just measuring how much in the middle I need. Because this is going to be a little hallway. At the top it's going to be a little window for a balcony and at the bottom it's going to be just a door. So make sure that you use a doll and a ruler to create straight lines so you have a perfect symmetrical rectangle. And then using a ruler and something round, I create a dome shape at the top. And now using a razor blade, I'm just placing a piece of cardboard underneath. Whenever you're using a razor blade or anything sharp, please have parental supervision. These things are really, really sharp and dangerous. Once I have that cut out, I'm now going to make my piece of cardboard stand up and I'm going to fold in the two sides. You might need a little bit of help with this as it's kind of hard, especially if your dollhouse is very large. So just take your glue gun and glue the tabs together. This is a really, really easy stencil to use for any dollhouse because you can make it as big or as small as you would like. Now taking some box rooms, if you don't have these, you can just eyeball it. I just traced the bottom to create a perfect rectangle and I also left a little bit in the center. And you're going to need two of those. So now that our base piece is all glued together, I also added some supports on the sides. And now I'm going to glue in that rectangle we just cut out and I'm gluing that to the bottom. So once that is glued, I'm now taking some paint and I'm going to be gluing in some of my box rooms. So anywhere where there is some extra cardboard, I'm just going to be matching it up with some paint. One of the things I really recommend whenever making box rooms is to try to make them about all the same size because as you can see with Lizzie Hearts, it's not quite the same size as the other ones. Now taking that other rectangle, I'm going to glue that on top for a second layer. I just took some wind dowels and glued them down and painted them red. And now I'm going to cover that with some ribbon. And I also added some scrapbooking paper to that little middle section. And I did that on the top and bottom to create a little hallway going out to the door. And now moving over to the front, I'm going to paint the whole thing white. If you're making this a large dollhouse, this does take up a lot of paint, so I recommend buying quite a bit before starting this project. And now taking some paint, I'm using Bisque, Chocolate Bar, and some Shine Mod Podge. And I'm also using some different size sponges, so I just have a normal square, a larger square, a rectangle, and a really small rectangle. And now just dip your sponges in the paint and just apply it on the wall. And this is going to create a cobblestone effect. Now taking another piece of cardboard, placing that on the top of our room, I'm just taking a pen and I'm just tracing out the side panels of our roof. Now taking some paperboard and the paint Tuscan Red, I'm going to paint the whole thing this color. Once you have that dry, I'm now going to go over it with some gloss Mod Podge. Now taking a ruler, I'm just tracing the width of the ruler on the paperboard and I'm making a bunch of lines all the way across. Once that is done, then I'm going to use my ruler. I'm adding a little bit and then I'm just tracing at the end of my ruler. And this is going to create a bunch of little squares. Now taking our two side panels for our roof and the paint color Berry Wine, I'm going to paint the whole thing this shade. Once that is dry, 
Taking all my little squares that I cut out, I'm going to glue them on. I bend a little bit at the edge and then just add a little glue and attach them. And this is going to create little shingles all across the roof. Once that is done, I'm now going to glue them onto our room. Then at the tip, I decided to take some folded bits of the same paperboard just to cover up that seam. Taking some more of the berry wine paint, I'm going to paint that little spare piece of cardboard that I did not paint earlier. Now taking that this rectangle of paperboard, I just painted it black. And I'm going to glue that onto the wall, and then I paint the inside the same berry wine shade. And taking some gold scrapbooking paper, I folded it to create a door handle. And now you are done with your dollhouse. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And I will be making a part two, which will just be adding more detail, like a balcony and a front yard. And if you are new here, hit that subscribe button because I will be making videos all the way to the 25th of December. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!